Good morning, good morning, good morning. We kind of finishing up some form work and I think we may actually get some ramming done today. So we'll see, we're adding more turnbuckles because we started to see the walls start to push out just a little. We're trying to catch it before it goes any further. So adding turnbuckles probably won't pull it back in, but it'll definitely stop it from going any further. So we pushed out about uh, three quarters of an inch, which is a little more than I want, but it's over both sides. So it's about three eighths on each side. But we got the beam hung. We now have a beam going from this middle pillar to the north wall, which allows us to uh, actually put shorter turnbuckles that are pushing more straight rather than at an angle. Um, so we're gonna add more turnbuckles to be able to hopefully shove it that way. Some people were saying uh, we could just put pipe clamps or holes through a wall or high tension steel, stuff like that. Um, we don't want it to stay in our wall and we don't want to patch the, the holes. I just don't really care for the way that looks. So we're trying to find other ways to do it. And it seems to be pushing out a little, but not much, so. And this is the first wall we've done? Two stories. Two stories. Yep. So Together. we'll just add more turnbuckles and add more bracing next time and it should uh, help. So we'll see. All right. So now, we are gonna crank down on these suckers. See what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go gonna... up inside the wall okay. with a tape measure so I can make sure that we're not over. Cool. I don't think it, I don't think we actually can go over tighten at this point, but I think I might just take the wood frame up. Oh, I think those are actually undersized. I just realized that. We may actually be less pushed out than I thought. The jigs that hold the foam, originally I cut them exactly at two feet. Well, I kept having issues where they were too tight. So I think I cut them down by a quarter inch. So we may only be pushed out half an inch. That would be real nice. Let's start with the northmost one, which is that way. North is that way. Closer to the existing wall. Closer to the existing wall. You need to draw me a map or something from this north and south. <laughs> we gotta get you like a compass or something. North is nice. There's nice and shady, and south is the sunny side. It's sunny right that doesn't now. Help the me. sun the comes from that sun. way. The sun doesn't rise in the north, though. No, but it's always visible on the south side. Okay, facing the orchard, away from the orchard. Toward facing the lake. The Toward the lake. Toward the lake. Just toward the lake. I okay. know that one. Toward the lake. Uh -huh. Toward the house. Toward the sawmill. Toward the orchard. But this is the house. Not right. really, though. That's the. Okay. Toward the, the well. The well. Toward the well. Give him a sack. He needed a tourney bit. Start to bow? No, we just broke. Yeah. What broke? The uh, turnbuckle. The turnbuckle. What do you mean the turnbuckle broke? The plank, the wood that it's screwed to just snapped. Really? Yeah. Keep cranking. Keep cranking. Ah ha ha. Thank you. I'm not sure what that dial does. These things are so counterintuitive because yeah. they, it's not righty tighty lefty. Like it, you can't look at it and go, oh, well that's tighter. Yeah, exactly. Like, it doesn't make sense. All right, I am going to hack the turnbuckle and do something fun. So I'm going to take this turnbuckle and attach a screw into that top corner between the two and then a screw here, screw it to the, the actual frame, and then crank it in. It's probably good. Oh. Don't push it because I don't want it to break. It. Yeah, it's probably fine. Yeah, go ahead and crank down on this one. 
Um, does that one look like it's also going to snap the wood? Uh, a hundred percent. Sweet. Yeah, I'm essentially going to do this on the back side at the top. Oh, and then pull in? Yeah. Got it. And pull in. And step around the corner. I feel like the sketchy level is going up exponentially here. Well, the reason you feel that is because that's exactly what's happening. Please don't die today. It's at the top of my priority list. Well, it's toward the top. Hey! <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Aww. Once we're done with this, let's. are you guys okay with an early lunch? And then right after lunch, go eat? Sure. Go Ram. I mean, go Ram. Yeah. I don't see why we can't ram today. I don't see why we can't either. What else do we need to do? I think that's it. So how many more feet do we have overall? Uh, we are at about 10 feet. And we're a little <laughs> under 10 feet. And we have to go to 20 feet, like seven and a half inches. Okay. So if we can get even five feet done today, then we can definitely finish tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys think you guys want to try and go for like five feet? That's like 10 lifts. That's like 10 lifts. Yeah. Even if we got four feet. We could probably do that. Yeah, we could probably do that in like three or four hours. So we'll eat it. We'll do an early lunch and then we'll just go until like four or five. There's this. Orb weaver spider up here. And I'm trying to respect her privacy. <laughs> right there, between the forms. We've been trying to let her do her thing. I should have brought a tape measure up here. Oh, you don't have a tape measure? Nope. Do you but want I can to... see where the wall's supposed to be. I can huck one up to you. Nah, I think I'm good. Yeah, I think that's fine. A couple of things we're doing different today. We're changing up the procedure for how the telehandler moves. Um, it coming off the pad every time didn't make a lot of sense. So we're gonna leave it on the pad, set the level because we're going up so high, we're running into the issue of it's rocking. Um, so what we're gonna do is actually throw a level on the front of it, make sure it's perfectly level and then not chain, not have it come off the pad at all. So we'll fill it basically hanging off the pad like this. Um, and that way the telehandler stays safe. So we have one more section of foam before we have to cut it an angle. Yes. All right. Does the whole thing go up to 20? No. Six. 18 and a half. So essentially so one of the form, one of the foam pieces will have an angle cut off of the corner. Right, so we only, cause we're at 12. We're the at 10 right up, now. No, but the foam goes up to 12 right now. So uh, the next foam will go to 16. Yes. Which means that after the next foam, we will have to cut. Correct. Yeah. Yep. This is level and safer. Now we can start mixing. I just got a vacuum while y'all are mixing your first setup.
went to pour our first lift and a rat jumped out of the telehandler and into our form. See him down there? So we built a little ramp. We're gonna let him out. Oh, up the ramp! Yeah, there you go. There you go, out. Good job. The rat catastrophe has been avoided. You two are awful. <laughs> Thank you, kiddo. Yep. So our wall right now is just shy of 12 feet. All right, I'm gonna send this other- and We're hoping to get to at least 14. Uh, hold. Okay. One sec. Yep. All right, go ahead. The foam is going in. Hopefully, it will cooperate. Oh, it's sliding in so nice. Don't say that till it's in. <laughs> Silly boy. All right, the end cap is in. Okay. The champers are done. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to click in Snuffy just fine. He just got the foam put in. All right. Oh, oh. I think All right. Okay. we're good. Uh, I need the rammer and we're going to want to scoot the scaffolding over all the way to the this side. Okay. Because I can't, there's no spot where I can put that across. Right. Cool. Ooh, this is a nice time for my boot to get kind of tied. To go wet? For my boots be coming untied? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Ricky's putting on the shorter rammer, which will be unfortunate for the next lift or two, but then it will get better. Mixing up the last lift. All right, the last lift is in. 
Ricky is tamping it, the guys are cleaning up, and that's all we've got for today. Thanks for joining us.